Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. Killing the game and I gotta go ask anybody, they all heard about it. They know when they kid and he's spitting, they know when he get in bit and I get in my way. Got this, I like to whatever I say, cause I can go put you on blast. People been mad at me cause I don't follow them back, I'm laughing cause that is so whack. Why they y'all trying to act like they been bossing when really their bosses been bossing them up? Nobody ever been telling me what I would do when I keep in the cash, for the shit out of luck. I want them more now, I get what I wish. Upgrading now with some pants that I whip, making six figures. I'll call it. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is episode two in Becoming Undeniable. And today I am having a rest day. I'm just in my kitchen, just cooking up some chicken, which is what I pretty much do every single day. I feel like I'm eating so much chicken and the truth is I am, I fucking love chicken. I love it. Good morning guys, so we are atop of our apartment rooftop and we decided to do our check-in up here today just because when the sun comes up the lighting is so much better than in our actual apartment. Uh, once again I've had a really good check-in, my weight is down and my waist is down. Um, very happy this week, uh, really happy with how I'm looking. Things Cardio is now done and I'm off to have some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cardio is done. I do one hour seven times a week. And now I'm just gonna go in and have some breakfast, which is my favorite meal of the day. Make sure you have breakfast. So nothing has changed with my breakfast. I have 40 grams of oats, peanut butter and banana, 95 grams of chicken, <clears throat> and of course I have a cup of tea. Now this when we're making breakfast, we just watch the yachts go by the window. These flowers are so beautiful. They're from a client called Sean. Aww. Hey guys, it's Sunday. It's at the end of the week. I 
Okay, so I have just finished the deep tissue sports massage. This was the room that... Oh my god. Everything really... How, How was that? Amazing. How do you feel? I feel... She worked hard on my back. It was really Yeah. Okay, so we've just finished our deep tissue sports massage and now we're going to go back and have something to eat. Yeah. I've lost my voice. What did she do? So yesterday me and Tom had our first deep tissue sports massage and oh my god, I'm a qualified sports massage therapist. So when... I'm having it done and they're not doing it hard enough like I'm not afraid to be like come on like go harder but this woman was absolutely going ham on my back my back right now feels like it's in absolute pieces and I've woken up today feeling probably a lot worse in terms of like muscle soreness and fatigue but I know and I'm really hoping the pain will be gone over the next couple of days but my back is so tender. Jesus Christ. Make sure you get massages weekly because that's what we're gonna try and do now. Only way to explain it is I feel like someone has continuously punched my back right, oh, just, it hurts so much. <laughs> I'm gonna stop whining and I'm gonna crack on with the rest of this video. Okay, so this is my next meal. This is cream of rice. So what I do is I have 30 grams, so I put it in a mug with some boiling water. And then I will put that in the microwave for about 15 seconds. And I've got 95 grams of chicken. Okay, so this is the milk chocolate flavor from Pit Stop Nutrition which I absolutely love, 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 love. It's kind of so sweet and it's like a nice little treat, which is why I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Anything that tastes really sweet or like chocolate is my go-to. So this is cream of rice. I'm currently now coming up to 11 weeks out from my show, first show of this year. Um, prep is going really well. My body is responding nicely. My weight is coming down. My current cardio split now is seven days a week. It's a one hour every morning and two of those mornings I have to be on the Stairmaster. And you know, it's not too bad. I kind of have to literally like drag my ass out of bed. And if you see me in the morning, like mind your own business, like I look a mess but we get the job done. As much as I kind of hate doing the cardio, I know it's helping with fat loss and it really is speeding it up. So I have to just wake up, drag my ass to the gym and just get it done. And my favorite little hack is find something to watch on YouTube. There's absolutely no way in hell that I can stand on the Stairmaster or the treadmill for an hour, like looking at nothing. I have to like distract my brain. And if you can do that, honestly, like time goes so quick. My sister said to me, she was like, how the hell do you do one hour? And I'm like, I distract my mind into what I'm actually doing. And then I don't look at the time or another hack, I hide the time so you don't look at it. And time just goes quick. And then before you know it, I'm like, yes, I've done an hour. Let's go have my breakfast. I find rest days really strange because I'm so used to being active or going to the gym or just doing something manic that when I have a rest day, I'm like, what do I do? And the worst thing about my rest days is that I have less carbs. So I'm kind of like, yes, my body needs to rest. But then at the same time, I'm like, I love food. I'm a massive foodie. 
anyone that knows me know that I can out eat Tom and after this prep series is done I will be vlogging so many food challenges because I can eat a lot okay so you would have seen in my first episode that I did actually go to the mall and I had some Botox done I didn't really talk about it, I kind of just went and done it. So I think I should explain what I've actually had done. So it's called Baby Botox and I've had it in three places. I've had it here, here and just at the side of my eyes. I've done nothing drastic, I haven't dramatically changed my face. I just noticed that I was getting a lot of deep wrinkles and deep lines and I'm pretty sure this had come on from all of the training that I was doing. If you look at my training videos, I like really intensely screw my face up and not to mention I've been living in Dubai and I've been absolutely awful at putting sunscreen on my face so I noticed that my skin like my skin was just awful it probably looks a lot better now because I've got makeup on but my skin I've been really struggling with my skin and so yeah I thought fuck it let's go to the mall let's go get some Botox and so far the results are looking quite good I had it here so I had a massive frown line here and I had loads of lines here and it's definitely working. Um, I can get to have another top up next week so I'm definitely going to have that. But yeah I'm really happy with the results. It only lasts kind of three to six months and because I'm so active um, I'll probably need it quite regular. I'm not promoting Botox to anyone, I'm not telling anyone, like I'm not saying everyone should go and get it done, it's just something that I wanted to try, I know a couple of people that have had it done, um, a lot of people don't mention they've had it done but I think you will be really surprised at the amount of people around you that have had it done. Um, the huge giveaway for me is kind of, I always see people's eyebrows and they're like way like up here. And that's how I know they've like had it done. But I know a lot of people don't like admitting it, which is totally fine. But on my YouTube vlogs, I'm so honest. Like I, I want to be as raw to you guys as I can. Just kind of letting you know what I get up to in Dubai. A lot of it's quite random. Absolutely obsessed right now with these flavor drops. I got them in one of the pharmacies here. This is the strawberry flavour and it is absolutely amazing. So I just literally pop that into my cup of tea with some... I just realised my back is getting really lean which is a really good start because with me my upper body shreds very quickly and I hold all of my fat around my glutes and my thighs that's normally and my hamstrings so that's normally the last place where the fat comes off my old friends messaged me and she was like Asen I don't even know that you moved to Dubai um, so yeah I didn't really explain anything in the first episode that was just fucking awful but um, yeah, just to sum it up, I did move to Dubai. We moved during the start, no, coming to like the end of lockdown. We just had enough, you know, England. Um, I will always say to anyone, come and visit, come and visit us. Dubai is amazing, like there's so much to do here. The one thing that I am struggling with is the heat because we did move here smack bang in the middle of summer and people were like, you're fucking crazy. Like, do you understand how hot it gets? I didn't believe them but now I do and kind of what I mean by that is you step outside and I, your eyeballs frazzle and they feel like they're on fire it's that hot so we just spend most of our time just inside working um, I, we don't really go to the pool a lot we do on rest days some days in the evening but most of the time we're just in the apartment the aircon we have not turned it off we are rinsing the shit out of that um, but yeah, there's so much to do in Dubai. The favourite thing I love doing at the minute is going to the malls. They have so many and I actually get really confused which one we're going to because there's so many. I'm loving yes, very good, thank you. You're sweaty. Yes. Oh, sorry, Loki. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, so 
we have just got to Binos Gym. I am going to have my pre-workout shake and then I am training upper body. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Okay, so I have just come back from the mall and I am very excited to try some new makeup. Okay, so I have gone for the NARS foundation, the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder, the Tarte Shaped concealer and setting spray very nice tom does not care about what makeup i buy yeah i do but this oh. really excites me yeah, and good. i've also got some of this no way. to take it wow. <laughs> amazing what do i get shut up you got I got you some tomato sauce. Mm, low sugar. Low sugar tomato 50 sauce. Less. Okay. okay, so we are just off to go and have our COVID vaccine jab. And I'll be completely honest, I've been putting this off for as long as I can because I didn't want it. But it turns out that we're going to need to have it because the countries that we want to compete in, for example, America or Asia, which we've been looking at, they will not let us in um, unless we've had the vaccine. So we're going to, this will be our first jab today. And then when will we get the second one? Uh, I think it's like two weeks time. So maybe in another two weeks, we'll get our second jab. But yeah, not looking forward to it. I've been putting it off. I don't want it, but it looks like we're going to have to have it anyway. So it is Wednesday. Again, it's another rest day. I always feel like I'm vlogging on a rest day. I'm currently walking around the marina. And I'm just off to the mall because I'm going to find uh, a really good face mask. So since I've been in Dubai, I've noticed that my skin has not been in the best condition that it could be in. In fact, it's got a lot worse. And I know it's to do with the heat, the gym, you know, I'm sweating pretty much every single day. So my pores are like open and then they're closed and they're clogging very easily. So I'm on a mission to find something, a clay mask maybe, something that's really good for oily skin and I'm hoping, God it gets so hot out here, so I'm hoping I can really nail my skincare routine. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I have just finished from the mall and mission accomplished. I've managed to find a face mask, a toner and a serum. Oh, hey. Hey. Okay, when I went in to the mall, it was actually daylight and I've come out and it's now pitch black. There is a cat following me. Oh, I want to talk to him. Tom will kill me if I bring back another cat. Um, so yeah, this has been a very successful trip. I must have been in the mall for about three to four hours trying to find a perfect face mask, which I'm now about to go in and sit down, have a cup of tea, look over my clients and put this new face mask on. I think this is the best thing about living by the marina is you can literally just step outside, go for a walk, go to the mall. I love it, I can't do that back home because I lived in a little fishing village. So, the time is 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. It is a Friday night and this is the real me in prep. I've just had a shower, um, I've exfoliated my face and now I have a face mask on and I am in bed with a cup of tea living my best life. This is the reality of prep. Blue. Hello. So this is normally what happens on a Friday night. I'm in bed with my cats, keeping it real. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Today was a very tough day in prep. I felt very tired. Um, it was normally by the end of the week. My body is in absolute bits, just where I've been hammering it all week. And yeah, today was a really hard gym session, like mentally, I didn't want to be there. My body and soul did not want to be there. I was just trying to push any way that I could so I could end the session and go home. Days like today, this is when my physique is gonna change. When I push through that barrier of that tiredness, the achiness, those are the days that your physique will change. So when you feel like that, you just have to push through it. Just go to the gym, just get it done. I'm gonna listen to my body and I'll probably have Saturday, so tomorrow, a rest day. Oh, I love that. It just come and lay on me, that's so cute. But yeah, I'm just keeping it real, guys. Like, you know, every day is not gonna be a good day. Some days in prep are fucking tough and you have to just push through those days. Isn't that right, Mr. Blue? We just gotta push through it, don't we? <laughs> so cute. How cute are these mugs? I went all the way to Dubai Mall just to find a massive mug because I'm obsessed with tea right now. These are so cute. They even come with like little Hey guys, thank you for watching episode two and I will see you in the next episode.